Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning again. I hope you're all doing good. It feels like, well, actually, two out of the three videos I've had this week, I've had to re record an introduction for them. So, a little bit of a story for you. EDS group set by Will Top. I got sent this ages ago. I got asked to do a video to promote it. Why this group set, Shram Killer, all this awesomeness. And this was a paid vlog, so they were going to pay me to promote this. And I say were going to pay me because this is all gone to pot now. I'm not sure if this group set's going to even be available anymore. So I don't know if you guys follow Joe, who does China Cycling. He was on a podcast recently and he spoke about how these guys, I think, allegedly, they're getting sued because of the rear battery. So it's removable on the one that I've got. So apparently, or allegedly, they might be changing it to a built-in non-removable one because that's more waterproof, not because it's different to SRAM. I'm not sure what's going on, why they can't release it. I have a feeling it might be to do with like some patents. The truth of the matter is the company that asked me to do a promo video for this new product asked me not to worry about it. But what they didn't say is they didn't say that I couldn't show you these guys. They just said that they weren't gonna pay me for producing the video. So I figured I've put this video together and I don't know whether this group is gonna come out or not. I really hope it does because it's pretty damn awesome. So I filmed this quite some time ago before I went to Marin headquarters and since then I've got to use it and it's, oh, I rate it, it's really good. It did take a little bit of setting up. It does have an app that pairs with the device but now that app doesn't seem to work anymore and I don't know if that's because of whatever's going on behind the scenes but fingers crossed these guys can get this sorted out because I, <laughs> honestly, this is wicked. So straightforward to set up. It works really well. It, I, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's a shame, it's a shame that it's not gonna be released because this thing was about $370 for the button and the rear mech and it's wireless. That's amazing, right? Anyway, not sure what's happening with this. Can't put links down below. I'll put a link down below to the podcast where Joe talks about all of this stuff. And I do give trying to cycling a follow actually because he's got some wicked content out there. We're gonna switch back to the actual video and you guys can watch me set this up on my bike, but just be aware that I'm not sure if this is ever gonna come out. Right, here you go. Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. I've got something super exciting to show you. Look, see this? This is the electronic derailleur system by Wheel Top. So some of you may have seen videos about this knocking about on the internet. I know GMBN did, did a very clickbaity video actually, like saying this is a knockoff of SRAM. And then a few other channels have had this on. I have had this for a while now. Honestly, it's dead impressive. It's got a really good clutch. It seems like it's a really good, robust bit of kit. So I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I've actually left a charger downstairs. So you do actually get a charger. Imagine there's a charger in there, but look. Your rear mech, and you get this shifter button. Can you see this? Let me give you a little look. Little shifter button, and this is powered by one of those, was it CR3032 batteries? So that just pops in there. And on the rear derailleur, you have this clip in battery, which I'm going to be honest is similar to the SRAM. You simply just clip it in, and out of the box, it should all be paired. So it should just be a matter of pushing a button. So let's see if it works. Oh, that button, there we go. Check it out. Look. Oh, you can hold it, or you can just tap it. And the really cool thing about this is, I believe it goes from nine to 13 speed. So because it's electronic, or the way it's programmed, or something, AI in it, um, it's probably gonna take over the world, or attach to my toaster. Because it's electronic, you can actually set this to be a 9, 10, 11, 12, or 13 speed. So if you're going from an 11 speed to a 12 speed, or a 12 speed to a 13 speed, or 11 speed to a 13 speed, or a 9 speed to a 13 speed, any of these variable options, you can use this, which is really cool, right? And this is not something that you can do with any other brand or derailleur. It's pretty cool that I've designed something that's really future-proof. I'm rating this. Honestly, I can't wait to put it. I'm going to put it on this bike, by the way. Look. So I'm going to put it on a Marin DSX-FS. I think it's like, you know, very nice. But because it does have a flat bar shifter, that leaves me the option of this bike or my trail bike. So we have this EVS group set. We have the Marin DSX-FS that has basic mechanical gears on it right now. So let's do a bit of an upgrade.
Like that is all set up and I'm actually like digging this little button. It's quite nice, right? So now we have no need for this wire, this gear shifter, none of that, that could all go away. And now we are fully set up wireless. That was relatively straightforward. I did have to do a little bit of fine tuning. Um, I tried to do it without the instruction manual, so I kind of messed it up, so then I had to restart from the very beginning. So if you are setting this up, do use the instruction manual. Like the micro adjust is really easy on there. There's just a little switch underneath here, and then you can like plus and minus your rear mech from the smallest cog, just to get it like aligned. And um, yeah, like I said, I made a few mistakes, but I've managed to rectify it, and now we have wireless gears on this bike. I mean, this started as a pub bike. I mean, it's looking pretty rad now. And another thing I want to do with this bike is I do want to steal a drop of seat post from Marin. I'm going there next week. So that's the plan. Take this bike to Marin, steal a drop of seat post, and then I'll have like a drop of seat post, wireless gears, funky wheels, and an awesome paint job. There we go. Just a little one today, a bit of a disclaimer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually ever be able to put this video out because I'm not sure if this product is actually gonna ever be released as it is, if they're gonna to have to make changes. So I filmed all this knowing the fact that I might, I may well not be able to show you this. So it's actually a bit annoying. Um, so I haven't used this rear mech yet. I can't comment on it, you know, I can't say go buy it. If it is as good as it appears to be for that price, I mean, this could be a SRAM killer. I said this a while ago, the market needs this, this new like competitiveness. Because at the moment, like an S-Works mountain bike is more expensive than like a 450 brand new motorbike. And, and, and I think it's just gone too far. And yeah, bike companies that are taking the piss, I'm talking to you guys, watch yourselves. Because there are companies out there that are making stuff that are affordable, there are group set companies, and people may call this a knockoff, but the reality is it's not, it's just a rear mech. And if it works as good as it's meant to work, this very much could be a SRAM killer, you know? I mean, I would use this over SRAM. I have no loyalty to SRAM, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.